Hello, my name is David Ilsley and I'm a Senior GCS Engineer at Informatica. In this video I will demonstrate the basic features of the Rule Builder available in Informatica Analyst. Rule Builder is a feature that converts rule specifications into logical objects that perform actions on business data. Business users can use the Rule Builder to design and store rule specification objects. In this video I will show how to access the Rule Builder from within Informatica Analyst and create a basic rule specification by adding inputs and rule logic. The specification will then be validated and tested before the rule is generated within the model repository. We will then see that the generated rule is available to be used within the developer tool. The first thing that we must do after logging into the analyst is open, a rule, open the rule specification design window. In order to do this we can choose rule specification from either the new or the design menus. This takes us to a window where we must enter the name of the rule specification we will call our specification age demo and then we must choose a location that we want to store the specification. We are also able to enter a description which is a useful way to explain the business logic that is to be accomplished. Once we have entered all the information we click the continue button. This then takes us to the main design workspace where we see a visual representation of the rule specification. Underneath we can see the properties of the selected object. To configure a rule specification we need to add and configure one or more rule sets. A rule set is a collection of conditional logical logic statements that you define to perform an action on a specified input. There must be one primary rule set that achieves the intention of the rule specification. Firstly, we set a name for the rule set. We will call this age demo the same as the specification itself. We then define the inputs that the rule set will accept. We click manage inputs and then add input. We shall call the input age and specify a data type of integer. We'll leave the maximum length as the default and click OK. We can then create the logic for the rule set by adding one or more conditional statements. We'll check the age input and set the classification based on this. We, we set the first statement with age as the input and then choose an operator of is less than, then an integer value and set the value to 18. After the then keyword we set the action to string value and enter child as the value. We can then click on add rule statement which creates an or statement and allows us to enter the details of the next check. We will again choose age as the input and this time set the operator to is greater than or equal to an integer value again of 18. But instead of adding an action at this stage we can click on the arrow and choose to add a condition. This creates an AND statement and allows us to add an additional check. This time we can choose an operator of is less than and set the integer value to 65 and then we can change the string value to adult. It's important to note that the rule will complete if a condition is met so not all of the rule statements will necessarily be checked. For example if the age input was 17 then the rule would return child without checking the value against the other statements. Finally we can add our last statement 
this time we will check if the age is greater than or equal to an integer value of 65 and if so we'll set the string value to senior citizen the final statement in the rule logic handles when none of the preceding statements are valid such as if the input is not provided or is null once we've finished adding our rule statements we can save the specification and check its validity by clicking the validate icon at the top of the workspace We can also test our logic by manually entering values and clicking the test rule button. Once we're happy with the logic that we have added, we can generate the rule object by clicking on the icon in the menu bar. The rule will then be created in the model repository and can be used by analyst or developer users. Once the rule has been generated, it can then be seen in the Assets tab of the specification. Also, if we check in Informatica Developer, we can refresh the repository connection and the rule is then available to use directly within the mappings and the profiles. This ends the demonstration on the basic features of Rule Builder. If you have any comments or suggestions, please contact us at one of the addresses shown. Your feedback is always welcomed. Thank you for listening.